So I just had to hop on here and address a topic that I thought was kind of interesting in response to um, one of my YouTube shorts that I put out was about um, making sure that you're thinking about being a, a contributor, a giver when you're going to church. And a question came up about that that I thought was a pretty darn good question is obviously receiving is important, right? Uh, receiving is definitely important because you can't you can't minister out of an empty well. You can't you just work yourself dry and you got nothing to give. And so it really is critical to make sure that you're not imbalanced in your approach. And so great great question and as a church it's really important that church leaders think through these topics because how you handle it can really help determine the, the health or unhealth of the people in the body and so one of the main things that I think about uh, well one of the first things is uh, being a giver at church doesn't necessarily mean serving on a team um, I think that you can go to church fully expecting to receive but that if you want to be a giver you have to think about it beforehand you have to be intentional about asking God what what would you have me share what would you want me to do today and so um, that would be the first thing is to recognize that being a giver and contributing doesn't necessarily mean that you are on the greeter team or an usher or on the worship team or, you know, making coffee, you know, whatever. There's all kinds of different ways to serve in a local church because a lot of those things are super, super great. And I got no, I got no problems with them, right? Like they're great. But are they absolutely necessary? Um, I, you know, I'd venture to say no. I mean, honestly, if you wanted to, people can open their own doors. If you wanted to, people can bring their own coffee or not drink coffee at church at all or whatever, you know, like those aren't critical to church happening. But you are critical to church happening. You are an important part of church happening because church is the body. We are the ones we are the ones that coming together create the environment where the the presence of God through us and then the the felt presence of God coming is what fills and ministers and heals people, strengthens people, encourages people. So, so that would be like from a philosophical standpoint that just because somebody's not serving on a team does not mean they're not a contributor, that they're not giving. It also, in some senses, means even if you're on a team, it doesn't necessarily mean you're a great contributor. You, you might not be doing what you're supposed to be doing. So you need to get a sense for what what is God asking of you to be doing? Now, from a church leadership standpoint and from a preparing an environment or policies and procedures or um, SOPs, if you will, the standard operating procedures, you know, like of how we cultivate a healthy serving environment, a healthy contributing environment. And that is, obviously, this would depend on the size of your church. The larger the church, the more teams you have and teams of teams. And so it might be the leader of a team. It might be the pastor. You know, it's hard to say, depending on, again, depending on the size of the church, the size of the teams, all that kind of stuff. But the principle remains the same. And that basically is this. If you're not pastoring, caring for tending to your team then then you are using them 
that if we are not actively and intentionally pastoring and caring for the needs of our team, our congregation, whatever whatever is right for the size of your context, then we're using those people. We are not doing ministry together. Doing ministry together implies that we are concerned about and actively involved in tending to the needs, the care, the health of those people. And it's in that kind of a context where I think you can have a hope of maintaining a healthy serving culture. The other thing is to make sure that you prioritize people over process, you prioritize people over projects, you prioritize people over activity, that if the best and right thing to do is to not have a particular event this year because there's too much going on, the team is too tired, what have you, then we need to be sensitive enough to make those kinds of adjustments and or just giving someone permission to step back because it's not like they couldn't step back if they wanted to they're not you know especially when you're talking about unpaid staff unpaid you know volunteers right they're unpaid serving people they're not staff right even staff you have to be careful how you manage the staff but Sometimes people need you to give them permission to take a step back so that they can feel released to take a break because maybe their kind of usual MO is to serve until they drop kind of a thing. And we need to help people understand that a serving till you drop mentality is super unhealthy and we don't want that. We don't want that in our churches because we want people that are healthy because healthy people help produce healthy people. Broken people can tend to help produce more broken people. It's like the old adage that hurt people hurt people. Well, if we could have less people walking around hurt, then maybe we would produce less hurt in people. So those are just some like high level thoughts I was having about answering that question. I'd love it if you let me know in the comments what you think or what questions does this then lead to from here. So uh, thanks for listening. Have a great day and I'll catch you later.